I kind of give us your background on this. So, like I told you earlier, I've done your, your research on this. Right. Why is this so special for you? Uh, really, I started in Charlotte when I first got into the NBA. It was just a way for me to try to find a way to give back to the community. So I started off with Big Brother's Big Sister as a big myself. I had a little kid named Ricky, and uh, I had him for about two, two maybe three years. And uh, just, just that time spending with him and just being a positive you know, role model in his life, taking the time out to do things with him, invite him places. You know, he became really a, a family member, you know what I'm saying? We used to invite him to family barbecues, him and his family, all kind of stuff. But uh, I think with Big Brother's Big Sister, you know, just to, you know, so some of these kids don't have that, that, that mentor in their life, that person that they can go to outside of their parents to talk about, you know, whatever it is to certain problems, certain issues that kids may have. So um, me doing this is just me just partnering up with them and just finding a way to give back to kids during the holidays, man. You know, some kids are not as fortunate to get like all the gifts and things that they want. So I just try to do something where they have a good time to get some food, they get a chance to bowl, to get some presents, they get a chance just to have fun, man, just to be clear their mind and be free for a little bit. I target you mentioned that, you know, like this should be something that we do all the time. No question. This. No question. So like where did that come from? Where was that instilled within you? To oh man, from my mom, from my grandma, man. Just just my family background. That's something that we always did. We, we were very big on always trying to give back to others even when we didn't even have it. I saw you at that event at Target and you were like really you look like you were really having fun with those, no with those kids. Have you always been like that? I mean, you have this stuff. Have you always been like that with kids? Have you always really like kids like that? That's something I love to do. You know, that's why I have a, um, a big program of my own back home called Team Felton. I deal with kids, um, programs, summer basketball and stuff. You know, just, just always working with kids and having my own, you know, and it's just something that's just dear to my heart. You know, and whenever I can get a chance to give back to the kids and give them some knowledge or even help in any kind of way, because um, honestly, those kids are our future. Sure. Ray, Ray, have you done uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters other places since you started Charlotte? You've done it everywhere. everywhere. Done it everywhere. Every other team that I played for, I've done other than um, other than Denver. Denver and Portland, I might say. Denver and Portland. Other than that, I've done it in every city. Ray, did you I have a big brother or a big sister? No, I have. I got two big sisters. Yeah, but, but nah, did nah, you nah. have like someone kind of outside? Who, nah, it was okay. just a program that I chose once I got into the NBA. Or, what about like growing up? Did you have someone who was kind of that external influence in your life? You know, right? I did. I did. I had a, I had a lot of uh, mentors. I had a coach. His name was Coach Jerry. You know, may he rest in peace. He, he passed away with cancer two years ago, but um, he was a guy that was always there for me. Um, whenever I need to talk to him outside of just basketball, outside of just going to my parents, because I can talk to my parents about anything. And I can talk to my two older sisters about anything. But sometimes you need somebody else other than your family members to just go to and just have that voice. The way you talk about your family, it seems like they had a really big impact in kind of shaping the character you are today. No question, still do. You know, I'm, uh, I'm very close to my family. And the chance I get to have all of them here, they're here. I had all my family here for Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, everybody won't be here for Christmas. My mom and dad will, but, um, you know, any chance I get to be with them, man, I love it. You know, I'm a, I'm a big time family guy. Why'd you choose bowling? I've done top golf, I've done bowling, I've done I've done everything, man. So, you know, just trying to shape it up. And I love to bowl. I can really, I can bowl a little bit, so. What do you bowl? What do I bowl? Yeah. On average, about 130, 135 on average. Every now and then I get up around 160 if I have a good day. Anyone else? I, I gotta know, you have the huge hot dog bar. Right. Is, is, is a hot dog a sandwich? Hot dog is one of my favorites for sure. If I'm going to, a, if I'm going to a, a baseball game, football game, whatever, I gotta get a hot dog. Is it, is it a sandwich? Does is a hot dog a, qualify is, as a sandwich or not? I can't say. I'm putting it in his own category. I'm putting it in his own category. I can't put it in the same category as sandwiches now. What do you put on your hot dog? Uh, just ketchup, mustard, and chili. What's the, what's the 